Hey, hey, everybody. I am back again in the storage, getting ready for another pop-up. So I decided to do pop-ups once a month because I think right now with the way my website, Poshmark, Macari, Depop, all of my social media platforms, as well as my reselling platforms, they have been super, super slow. So I think with me doing the pop-ups once a month, it can help me you know make some sales or increase you know sales so i am getting ready for another pop-up tomorrow today is friday tomorrow is saturday uh august 6th so i'm getting ready to do a pop-up and I, uh, it's actually not a pop-up let me something flying in here it's actually not a pop-up it is a comedy show with lady t comedian lady t for her nonprofit organization called Healing Through Laughter Suicide Prevention Organization, which is an amazing uh, organization. And she's doing a comedy show tomorrow and she wants me to come out and set up as a vendor. So that is what I'm doing. I just call it a pop-up because I'm popping up, bringing some of my uh, collection. Let me show you what I put together. Hold on, let me turn it around. Okay, so this is what I have from the storage i try not to bring too much because it's just a lot of work unloading and then reloading I, I can't do all that then on top of this i have about eight items at my house so i have this cute t-shirt i have um i have so many blouses up to here and then i have some blazers up to here and then I have a few rompers. I'm just trying to get rid of some of my summer pieces because we are getting ready for, we, we are getting ready for fall. So I have, let me show you. I have this cute piece here. This is a romper. You can see that, yep, size large. And so yeah, I have uh, a dress. Well, in here is another romper. Here is a dress. This is a dress. Uh, this is a dress. This is really cute with the different patchwork on it. And then I have um, a nice kimono overlay. Really cute. I have a nice patchwork skirt with beading. Really nice. And then I have one pair of pants. And like I say, I do have some other uh, items at the house that I will add on here. Then I have, of course, my Fashion Reboot shopping bags. And that's about it that I take. Um, I don't, I can't lug all that stuff when I do pop-ups or set up as a vendor. And um, all of my, uh, I guess, marketing um, materials, I'll have those to put on my table. And I don't even really like tables. I just have my rack and then I'll probably have a small little table if I do. So that way I'm able to um, do the transaction or whatever because I try not to bring a lot of stuff because I set it up of how much I want to make how much I want to sell and how many items I need to bring so that's how I do so I'm on my way home I'm getting ready to load my cute little mini Cooper and get over to the house so that I can get everything on the racks and then tomorrow the comedy show starts at 7 p.m. so stay tuned for behind the scenes Okay, I am out of the storage on my way to the house and now all of a sudden it starts to rain. I don't know if you can see my face. But yeah, um, it's actually like a sun shower going on here. It is so hot here in South Florida. Like the sun is a different sun. I don't know what's going on with this heat. It is so hot. Anyway, I am on my way to the house so that I can add the other pieces to my collection and I will show you guys what what else I will be adding. All right? All right, everybody. I'm back. This is day two. I know I was supposed to come home and show you some of the other items that I am going to add on my rack for today's comedy show. 
I got home, I was extremely exhausted. When I left the storage, I actually went to the grocery store, so that just took me out of my rhythm of coming home and doing that, which is pulling the other items to show you. But I'm gonna show you now. Like I say, it is extremely hot here in South Florida. I know the sun is everywhere, but for some reason it is extremely hot here. It's not hot in my house, but when you go outside, it feels like an oven. So, this is my uh, cloth's closet slash office uh, bills um, podcast station. I do everything in here. So, I have a few pieces in here that I want to show you what I am going to add to my collection tonight. Um, and when I do my either pop-ups or set up as a vendor, I set up an amount of how much I would love to make. So that means these are the amount of items that I need to bring. I don't like bringing everything because I see a lot of vendors. And see, I do a lot of events as well. And when I have vendors to come to my events, I try to explain to them, you don't need to bring all of your merchandise. You want to make it as simple as possible. Just put in your mind about how much you would love to make and bring those items, okay? So the items that I also put on my rack are items that I don't have listed on my website. And I learned that because when I sell the items that I have listed on my website, I forget to take them down. And then somebody will go behind the person who purchased it live at the event and buy it. And then I have to go back and apologize and tell them I sold it, you know, all of that jazz. But anyway, I have a nasty gal, what is this, flower print dress. This is really cute. This is a size, I think, large. A size 12 so that would be considered a large this is really cute it's new with tags so I'm going to add this to my rack I have it listed but I have already um, put it on uh, I deactivated it so that way I don't forget you know to take it take it down excuse my back so this is not listed so the rest of the items that I show you they are not listed so I have this really cute romper. If this was my size, I would have kept this. But this is really cute. It's like a denim uh, romper khaki, which is the really, which is the trend color for spring, summer, and fall. And it has these buttons and a belt, and it has a pocket on each side. Super cute, super casual, and super comfy. And I thought this was really, really cute. This is adorable. It is a mini length skirt with sequins and beading throughout. Very Hawaiian, very tropical. And it has these tassels at the bottom. Even though we're going into the fall season, this is something that can be, you know, in your closet. You can still wear it. You know, this is a size six and it is by Kelly and Diane. I don't know if I mentioned who this is by. This is by Reality uh, Fashions and it's a size medium. This is a size six. Look how cute this is. And then it has almost like a nice thigh. Well, not a thigh, maybe a calf length split in the back. It's in excellent condition. There are no flaws. There are no missing beads. It is adorable. My sister has, she has dibs on this one because she really liked this. Then I have this really cute blouse. You know, blouses, you can't go wrong. I always tell people when I do style reels, I always let my followers know or my clients that if you have your closet filled with blouses, you would never have anything to worry about an outfit because you can wear the same pants but you can dress it up with a different blouse no matter what so i love the the pattern the diff the combination of the animal prints the colors you know the squares the shapes and then it has this uh, like a tie where you can make it into a bow this is from 7th avenue uh, new york and company and this is a size extra large so this is super cute you can dress this up for work 
or you can dress this down and go out with the girls or after work. Really cute. This is almost like a thrift haul. So let me see what else I have. I have this knitted v-neck. I want to call well, it is a top, but it's almost like a tunic, I want to say. And it's by Eileen Fisher, which is a really good brand. This is a large, but it is a petite large. So um, I think it's for someone who is a size large, but not heavy busted or, he or top heavy. And then you can wear a nice uh, blouse underneath, and then this can go over it. So it has like this swoop at the bottom. The sleeves are also like a swoop. It sort of my reminds you of a poncho. Um, yeah, and again, this is a size, this is a size petite large. Really cute, ready for fall, and a little winter. It's not gonna keep you warm for winter, depending on where you live. Like if you live here in South Florida, probably wouldn't even wear this. And finally, I have this. Again, we're going in fall and winter. This is a vest. Look how cute this is. And it has like these, I don't, I wouldn't say lapels, a collar it's no buttons of course so it just sits open I think this is leather I don't I'm not sure hmm. but it's by Dylan it doesn't say no it's not leather because I could feel it. it's not leather and I was trying to see if it was wool oh here it is hold on this is it doesn't say it's an extra large, but I don't know why it doesn't say what the material is. I like to say what the material is. No, it doesn't say. It just says where it was made. But this is really nice. This is the bag. It has the seam here and the seam going across, going down. It has the, the fuzzy material going inside, which is the lining. And that's why I thought maybe it was wool, but it doesn't say. But this is adorable. You can wear this with some nice jeans, a nice pair of white slacks, uh, or even this color slack. I mean, you can really dress this up because this is like an outerwear. So this is what I'm adding tonight uh, to my uh, rack. That was that was a quick uh, quick uh, show and tell. But anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm adding to the rack tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and load this up in my car. It is now uh, about a little after 11 a.m. here. And so I want to just get everything in my car so that way when it's time to go, I could just head over to the hotel, which is up the street for me, which is great. Um, I do have to go get my car washed because I don't want to roll up in my Emerald, which is the name of my car. And um, she's looking a dusty mess. So. so yeah, that is what I am going to add tonight. And I may show a few shoes. I'm not really sure if I want to do shoes right now, but if I do, let me show you. So these are a few pairs of shoes that I may take if I decide to take shoes. I have a pair of American Eagle Outfitter slippers or sandals. I know we're going into uh, fall, winter. I don't know if this is showing backwards, but let me do it like this. Um, but these are really cute. They are comfy. Uh, they are in excellent condition. They are a size 10, and I find that larger sizes for me, even with the clothes, sell so much quicker than my size for some reason. And I believe it's because it's harder for, you know, uh, shoppers that are of a larger size to find these unique pieces. So when they see them on social media platforms or on the reselling platforms or even websites, they buy them because it's it's really hard for them to find really nice cool pieces because I see some of the styles that they have for like the curvy women and the big and tall men it's not as appealing as it is for like my size or just a little larger than me and I don't think that's fair so when I see those really unique pieces in larger size I grab them I style them up on one of my curvy beautiful models and it sells quick so yeah, so anyway, to say that is, I have these, that's a size 10. I have these adorable platforms by Sam Elderman. I don't know if you can see that. And actually, I have a show and tell 
with a, it's a shoe haul show and tell, nothing but shoes, and I will be uh, posting that as well uh, after this. You'll see that. Uh, these are really cute. These are size. What size are these? I think these are probably like a seven or nine. These are a size eight and a half. So in the shoes. I want to say size 8 and up sells quick. Anything like a 7 and smaller, they take longer to sell. But these are really cute. And I have a pair of Muse by Jessica Simpson. These are adorable. They are in excellent condition. And remember, this color is the color trend for spring, summer, and fall. Going into fall. And this is a size 9 medium. So if I decide to do shoes, these are the three that I would take. I'm not going to take a whole lot. And then I forgot to show you guys, I also have this cute, almost like a tutu skirt. But what I like about it, I love the color. At first when I found it, I thought it was like really dingy and dirty. So I cleaned it, I, I hand washed it really good. And when I looked in the water, it wasn't dirty at all. It was actually, this is actually the color. So it's like a blush pink mauve type color and what's so adorable about it is it has these pearls all around the skirt and all this all the um pearls are still on here they're not missing so this is really cute so I'm, I'm also going to add this i have not listed this on my on my website or any of my reselling platforms so all right everyone um i'm going to get ready to start loading my car and then I'll take you with me. I probably won't record loading loading the car because it's just too much. Um, maybe I'll just keep it on my tripod and just let you see me load the car. Hey, if that works, uh, if that's something you want to see. If not, then I'll I'll come back with my uh, footage from the hotel. All right, and get started. Hey everybody, I am all loaded up in the car and I'm about to head over to the hotel. It is now three o'clock. Um, I did want to get there by four so that I could unload and set up and get in there uh, ahead of this heat. Uh, it is super hot here. I am about to leave, which I say it's up, as I mentioned before, it's up the street from my house, so it's not a uh, it's not a far commute or travel. And um, yeah, I'll let you guys see me unload the car and set up. All right, let's drive. All right, I arrived to the hotel. I have everything set up. I didn't show you guys me of me of me taking the uh, clothes out the car. It's just too much, but I did get set up. I'm here at the same hotel I was in two weeks ago um, for the Runway Social House event and I was complaining about the hotel but um, we're here again and we're gonna see how it goes. Let me show you my setup and then I'll show you inside of the area um, where the comedy show is gonna be held. Okay so this is my setup here. I told you I don't like to bring a lot of items, a lot of merchandise, it's just too much. So I think I have two, four, six, eight, ten. I have 30 pieces and I am selling them for between 20 and $30. Because these items are all sale items or items that have been in my closet. 
uh, for quite some time or new items. And of course, over here I have my shopping bags and then I have my tripod so that I can get some footage. It's comedian Lady T. Very popular comedian here in South Florida. So let me show you the area where the comedy show is gonna be held. All right, so this is the area here. So she's expecting, she's expecting quite a few people to show up, but whoever is in attendance, they supposed to be here. So that's how we're gonna do it. She's pretty nervous, but hey, good. Uh, ner I always say nerves are good nerves. So if you don't get nervous, then something is wrong. I always say that. So this is the area where she is going to conduct her very first comedy show fundraiser for Healing Through Laughter, which is a nonprofit organization for suicide prevention, which is an amazing organization. So please follow her. Her name is Comedian Lady T on Instagram, as well as on Facebook and Healing Through Laughter, which is Healing Through, T-H-R-U, Laughter, okay? completes this evening's event with Fashion Reboot at the Comedian Lady T Presents Comedy Night for Healing Through Laughter Nonprofit Organization for Suicide Prevention. It was a great event. Unfortunately, I didn't sell as much as I wanted to, but I made some great contacts. I normally go to these events so that I can network, and that I did. So thank you all for tuning in. Till the next time, I'll see you in the next video.